What is up, producers? Welcome to Low and Candy. I am Bohemoth, and today I have an absolutely life-saving tip for you. If you're trying to open up a recent session that is very important and it won't open, and you are about to shit your pants, I'm going to show you how to open it. This is something that saved my life a billion times, and hopefully it helps you too. So a lot of times what will happen is files get corrupt, plugins don't work. Some of us may or may not have cracked plugins. I don't anymore, thank God, but there was a time when I did for sure. What will happen is for some reason or another, you go to open up a project and it just keeps crashing. It won't open up or it does open up and it freezes and it's glitchy. I've had a lot of this stuff happen to me and this is a way I've found to be able to open these plugins without having to worry about it. So let's get into it. Before we hopped in, I wanted to mention that I'm currently doing Ableton Live lessons on AbletonLiveTeacher.com. Working with a mentor is the best way to get good quick at producing. If you're interested, it's in the description. Also, at this point, I'm doing new videos practically every day. So toss me a like and subscribe. They help a lot. Thank you. So what we're going to do to open our session that we can't open otherwise is first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a blank Ableton session. This is pretty cut and dry. It's only going to take a second. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to where our project folder is. So over here, we're going to go to desktop and then we're going to navigate to our Ableton project folder, wherever that is. And let's say whatever this one is, January 11th project won't open for some reason. What we're going to do is we're going to click the down arrow and it's going to show us everything that's in this project folder. Then we're going to go down to our .als, which is our Ableton Live Set folder, so whichever version you are trying to access. Then we're going to click this down, and it's actually going to show us each and every individual clip and each group that's associated with this Ableton Live Set. What we're going to do now is we're going to start dragging these clips in one at a time. So we're going to start with our kick. As we're doing this, what we're looking for is problem plugins, stuff not opening up, things that are frozen or not working, because basically what's happening here is we have, like we talked about, one plugin that's kind of screwing us or one track that's crashing. And what we're doing is we're going to open these one at a time, starting from the least processed one or the one that's least likely to cause problems. So if you know you have like a ton of heavy plugins on one or one with like a, a sketchy plugin or whatever, we're gonna open them in order from least to most. So I know there's nothing on my kick. It's just a basic kick. So we're gonna do that. And as we do this, we're gonna file save live set as, and we're gonna save it as January 11th new. And we're gonna save it in a different spot altogether on desktop. And then we're gonna go through each track and we're gonna drag it in. And like we talked about, every time we dragged it in, we're gonna click on one and we're gonna check the plugins and we're gonna make sure it works. And then every time it does, we're gonna go ahead and save it again. So I'm not gonna go through all of these, but that's what you do. And the reason we're saving between every single one is because uh, if we save it and then we open the next one and it crashes, we're gonna know then that, okay, this is the track or this is the plugin that's causing the problem. From then, basically our only options are to determine if that track is not important enough to proceed with the project without it. And if so, we're gonna drag the rest of the tracks in and then we're gonna save it and we're gonna proceed with the project without that track. So quick little tip, I hope this helps someone. I know it saved me before. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time.